light gun enthusiasts have a special fondness for arcade guns. These guns were built to endure hundreds of hours of play and all sorts of physical abuse while still feeling very good and being very accurate and precise. To enable these benefits to myself I decided to buy an old broken Namco light gun and turn it into a controller which I can use for PlayStation 1 and 2 games. First I cleaned the gun and then I fixed the solenoid valve and the broken shell. I replaced the micro switch for one made by Cherry. I left the original light sensor inside the gun and wired everything up to a DE9 plug using a shielded cable. A DE9 socket was connected to the PCBs of an original GunCon 45 and GunCon 2. For the force feedback I used my signal generator which I showed in episode 118. This PCB is powered by one of the two gun con boards, as it is connected to the common pin of the double pole double throw switch I used to select amongst the light detecting circuits. When interconnecting the twice occurring buttons A, B and trigger, diodes have to be used. I connect the buttons to TS sockets into which I can connect pedals. I suggest any industrial grade pedal, but personally I chose ones made by Tmasts. They are made of metal and use very tactile clicky switches. For the D-pad I connected the wires to our RJ11 socket. I have built a foot controller using a soapbox and a high quality arcade joystick to which I attached the top of a car brake pedal. The joystick is using full size micro switches and therefore has a delightful clickiness to it. I put the electronics into another soapbox to create the interface. On one side it has the sockets for the buttons. With this design I just connect the buttons I need for a particular game. On the other side is the DE9 socket of the gun, a switch to select between GunCon 1 and 2 modes and a second switch which controls the behavior of the force feedback. Whether the force feedback is engaged or not is simply controlled by plugging or unplugging the 24 volts power supply. The accuracy and precision of the gun is perfect in both gun modes. However, as the gun con circuits were made for another gun design, with a different sensor positioned at another location relative to the sights, I have created narrow dead zones at the left side and the bottom of the screen. Still, the gun is very nice to play with and I am very happy. This is the end of the video. My name is Ben. I thank you for viewing.